By now, everybody knows about Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, and let me tell you, the allegations are disturbing. It seems like it's something out of a horror movie or something like that. However, there's one part that people are, like, overlooking or maybe don't care about. Can you believe that Diddy was trying to kill Suge Knight? Keithy D is currently in jail, and he's probably going to serve the rest of his life in jail for the murder of Tupac. As you guys know, Keithy D was in the car when he handed the gun to Orlando, and he shot Tupac, and ultimately Tupac died. But since then, there has been a lot of talk about, well, why did this even happen? As you guys know, Keefe D has done interviews. He even wrote a book where he said that Diddy was having trouble with death row records and he just wanted all the drama, everything to end. And so he told Keefe D, go ahead, do what you have to do. Basically saying, if it comes to you having to end somebody's life, it is what it is. And he allegedly offered Keefe D a million dollars. This was never paid out. And Keefe D had little to no communication with Diddy after Tupac's death. So he never got that million dollars. Knowing this, it would be hard to believe that Diddy had nothing to do with Tupac's death at all. It states in the 35-page lawsuit that Miss Ventura was also exposed to intense violence that pervaded Mr. Combs' rise to fame. For example... On one occasion, when Mr. Combs and Miss Ventura was using drugs together in his home, one of his security staff barged in and announced that Suge Knight, a longtime rival of Mr. Combs, was spotted at Mel's Diner in Los Angeles. Mr. Combs began to get dressed, retrieve multiple guns from a safe, and ran out of his home to where he believed Mr. Knight was dining. Miss Ventura became terrified and began to cry. Now, Cassie didn't give a particular date of when this happened, but obviously this must have been between 2007 all the way to 2018 when they officially broke up. So during that time, he still wanted to smoke with Suge Knight. Also, what's interesting about this is that Suge Knight has always said that he knew who killed Tupac, but he would never tell who it was. Now, he has never named Diddy, so it's weird that Diddy still wants to basically go after Suge Knight after all this time, even though Suge Knight has never named him as the murderer. Also in the next line, I find it quite interesting that on two occasions, Cassie says that Diddy wanted her to hold his gun for him. And this was either to show power, but honestly, Cassie could have ended up like Jennifer Lopez. How, remember in 1999? Well, let me go ahead and read line 63 to you guys and we'll get into that. On at least two occasions, Mr. Combs demanded that Miss Ventura hold Mr. Combs' gun in her purse. Miss Ventura had no familiarity with guns and was petrified that the firearm would accidentally go off in her purse. There was no clear reason why Mr. Combs required her to hold his gun, except to reinforce to his young girlfriend that he was violent, powerful, and dangerous. What's interesting about Cassie holding the gun for Diddy in her purse was that remember the infamous 1999 shooting in Manhattan at a nightclub where Shine ended up getting nine years in jail? But Jennifer Lopez was also with Diddy that night and allegedly when they got pulled over, he threw his gun underneath Jennifer Lopez's seat. She was even detained for 14 hours, but eventually the charges was dropped. The 1999 shooting had left three people injured. According to MTV.com, three people were hit by gunfire in an incident at Club New York on West 43rd Street. Natanya Rubin, 29, was the most seriously hurt, according to police. She was shot in the face and was in stable condition at St. Vincent's Hospital in Manhattan. The other two victims, Robert Thompson, 39, and Julius Jones, 27, were hit in the shoulder. Jones was in stable condition at St. Vincent's. Thompson refused medical treatment. Diddy and Jennifer Lopez started dating shortly after he did work on her music video for If You Have My Love. At the time, Jennifer and Diddy were one of the most iconic couples ever. It was a perfect cross between pop culture and hip hop together in one couple. Remember Jennifer Lopez wore that green Versace dress at the 2000 Grammys? Well, that's when she was with Diddy. They were making headlines everywhere. 
After the shooting, there have been rumors that Diddy and Jennifer Lopez broke up. However, they were still together. They didn't officially break up until Valentine's Day 2001. Now, this shooting definitely could have destroyed Jennifer Lopez's career because at the time, she had a number one record and a number one album. Luckily for Jennifer Lopez, she got away. But with Cassie, she ended up staying with Diddy for almost 12 years. Diddy has had a long history with plenty of women from Kim Porter to Misa Hilton, Jennifer Lopez, and now Cassie. But Cassie has been the first person that is mainstream and well-connected to speak out against Diddy. So this has been a shocker. This is not something that the streets haven't heard about Diddy and his ways. However, this is the first person brave enough to say anything and actually take action against this man. Now, we are going to keep doing a deeper dive into Diddy and all of his indiscretions and allegations, so please stay tuned. Also, let me know what you guys think about this Suge Knight story. Can you believe that Diddy was going out to go do something to Suge Knight? Now, it didn't say he was going to off him. However, if you getting guns from your safe, what else were you going to do? Thank you guys for watching.